What's going on, family? Uh, this uh, blog right here, I, I wrote this blog on WordPress back on April 6th, 2017. I wrote this just randomly, you know, how like when you just write stuff down, just uh, out, you know, just off the top of the dome, off, you know, just off your, you know, just randomly, you know, I didn't like prepare it. I didn't plan it. It was just um, something I wrote down just like, you know, like step of a finger. I just took, probably like took me less than half an hour maybe to uh, write down this list. Uh, this is called um, Guidelines on How to Be a, a Mature Adult and Confident Adult by David Burt, which is my real name. <laughs> no, I just had to put it. I don't know why I put it out there. I was like, fuck it. You know, you know, so I just went ahead and put my birth name on there. You know, I wrote this back in 2017, so nobody really watches my page. You know, if people watch it, that's fine. You know, I'm not like a big YouTuber or nothing like that. But, um, you know, and what I do is um, in the bottom of the video, I put the link uh, to this uh, blog in the bottom so you can click on it and read it yourself. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I just uh, wanted to, like, build traction, you know. Uh, and I wrote this uh, three years ago. And uh, nobody reads my blog. <laughs> nobody reads it, you know. So, you know, just something, you know, it's just something I wrote off the top of my head, basically. You know, you know how, like, um, when you read, like, a New Age literature, they talk about channeling, you know, how psychics, psychics like, channel information, so-called channel information from the ether. And they just write, they call it scrying, I, I believe, whatever they call it. And they just uh, write write stuff down. They think they like they, they channeling the universe or the spirit or whatever. This is kind of like this. I'm not saying I got it from an entity or nothing like that, but uh, it's just something that I just wrote down, you know, because I'm just sick and tired of dealing with like uh, immature adults who still have like children, you know, people I work with, uh, women I date. Uh, people I used to associate with and stuff like that. So I guess I was kind of frustrated when I wrote this. So I just went ahead and just like, you know, wrote it down like randomly, you know. It's just something, you know, I didn't like make a, what they call it, a, a draft or nothing like that. It's just like, this is like 30 points. I just wrote down and typed it out and just put it online. And uh, I don't want to ramble too long, but... Uh, this is called Guidelines on How to Be a Mature and Confident Adult, How to Have a Healthy, Mature Adult Mind. Um, point number one is understand that life is not fair. The universe we live in is neither positive or negative, but indifferent towards you. Uh, it pretty much means that, you know, when you like, uh, when you look at, Look at the universe. Look at the planet Earth. Look at nature. Look at look at how things function. You know how nature functions. You got cycles. Uh, nature has cycles. You got seasons. You got rain, earthquakes, hurricanes, volcanoes. Uh, when you look at outer space, you have asteroids, asteroid impacts, supernova stars go supernova or whatever, black holes, whatever. You know, nature does its thing. Nature is totally indifferent. It's kind of like when it, when there's a natural disaster, uh, like an earthquake, uh, hurricane, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The hurricane, the volcano itself is not conscious. It's just nature doing its thing. So when uh, people are in the way of it, it's neither good or bad. It's just nature doing its thing. So when he hears people die, you know, in a tornado or hurricane or earthquake or whatever, it's just nature. It's just it's just nature doing its thing. They call it a uh, act of God or whatever. You know, act of nature, act of God or whatever. The term the term they use sometimes. So that's pretty much what it means. That life is just go. Life is just going by the cycle. So if humans are in the way of it, it's just how things. It's just it's just how it is. Uh, pretty much. Um, and I'm not going to try to ramble on too long for each point, like 30 points. So I might read through them fast. 
Uh, nobody cares about your feelings. Of course, I got this from uh, Ben Shapiro. Uh, you know, everybody, every human being goes about their life. You know, people have responsibilities. People have jobs. People got to pay their bills. Uh, people have children they got to take care of or whatever. So everybody has, every, every adult goes about their life. You know, they worry about their money, their finances or whatever. So, so the average person doesn't really have time to care about your care about your problems, <laughs> pretty much. You know, say so if you have a problem, you know that's uh, you know, if you um, you know, it's a you you have a problem, but you try to like get somebody to help you or whatever. You're adding an extra burden. You add you're adding an extra burden to the other person because the other person has priorities they got to take care of. You know. So nobody really cares about your problems in, in reality, especially like people you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Cause they got they go about their life, cause they got their own problems and issues. So if you got a problem, is I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting help, but I'm just saying that a lot of times you gotta take uh, personal personal responsibility for yourself first. And if more people took personal responsibility for themselves, you will have less people having problems, pretty much. Um this world doesn't care if you live or you die, uh, which is true. Cause people die every day, <laughs> you know. Uh, people been dying since the beginning of time. So, you, you know, I'm going to die one day. You're going to die. Uh, everybody planet Earth. No, no, but we're not immortals. This is not Highlander. You know what I'm saying? We're, <laughs> we're, we're not immortal. We're all mortal. So eventually uh, we gonna, we're, we're all going to age get gray hair, get wrinkles, uh, you know, get elderly. We're going to be 70, 80 years old. We're eventually going to die of natural causes. If not, we're going to die from other, uh, whatever, you know, whatever the case is. I'm just saying that, you know, people die every day. You know, if you watch the news, you hear somebody get shot in Chicago or New York City. You might look at that and just say, like, hey, you know, that's another city. I don't know, I don't know that person. You probably hoodle them anyway. So who cares to get shot? So <laughs> you know, and that's what I'm saying. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. People die every day. You know, you watch the news, you hear somebody get killed in uh, a foreign country or whatever. You know, so you sit there, you don't really have an emotional attachment to it because you, that's in another another part of the world. You know, so so basically, nobody really cares to live or you die. You know what I'm saying? So if, if something happens to me or happens to you, if it's on the news. I mean, you might have somebody watching it in another part of the country, another part of the world, and they have no emotional attachment to it. So that's uh, pretty much what that means. Um, number four, uh, you can always control the outcome of the situation, but you are always 100% in control of the effort. Uh, that means that you can do everything right. You know, you can uh, cross all your T's, dot, dot all your I's. Uh, you can have your paperwork straight. Uh, shoot, what I mean, you can have like everything tip top shape, prepared, uh, perfection. Uh, that doesn't mean it's gonna turn out right because anything can happen. You know, real life is volatile. Anything can happen. So you can like uh, put your best effort. You know, put your best effort into something. You might have an external force come ruin it. You know, so it's kind of like somebody like. Uh, so, you know, prepare the perfect wedding or whatever, you know, say so you got the cake, uh, you got the, the decorations or whatever, and then right in the middle of everything, right in the middle of the ceremony, it starts pouring down rain. You know, you can't control the weather. You might have everything set up perfect, but, but you know, you can't control nature. You can't control everything. There's always going to be an outside force that's going to, like, interrupt, you know what I'm saying? So that's how life is. Uh, number five, life is hard. There would be no point in living if life was always easy. Uh, which, what you know, if life was easy, life would be boring. You know, what I'm saying so. We, we, you know, problems kind of like added spice and excitement to life. You no know, challenge. You know, if you don't have, yeah, if you don't have a challenge, uh, that's what's the point of living? That's pretty much what it means. Uh, point number six. There is nothing outside of yourself that will come and save you, um, and it goes back to the Messiah complex. Everybody want, everybody's looking for a Messiah, you know. Everybody's looking for, uh, you know, that they that uh, Deep Patch Mode song, "Personal Jesus." You know, they they want they want a savior, somebody like uh, fix their problems, whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? But in real life, you know, that's real life doesn't work that way. Uh, number seven, uh, human beings are not angels. Anybody that become corrupt, which is true, you know, they can happen to the best of people. Nobody's perfect. Uh, we all can be tempted. You might have like, uh, you know, like um, first thing that comes to mind is like the book Dune, the science fiction novel Dune, with uh, Doctor Doctor Yuri Huey, whatever his name his name was. He was like uh, bred. He's like bred to be loyal to the House of Trades, but he end up he end up uh, betraying the House of Trades, but he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> because he had that imperial breeding, but he he ended up like betraying the house of Trades and all this kind of stuff. So, so nobody's perfect. You might have somebody who's like an angel. You might have somebody who's clean cut, uh, pure, good, religious Christian, whatever. Even that person can be tempted, become corrupt. So nobody's uncorruptible. You know, keep that in mind. Um, open your open your mouth and talk. Nobody can read your mind. Yeah, that pretty much say that, uh, you know, speak up, you know, if you see something wrong, speak up, you know, nobody's going to help you or occur the problem if you keep your mouth shut. Uh, number nine, you know, if you expect uh, perfection or a Disney happy ending, the universe and nature will beat you down hard constantly over and over again until you snap the fuck out of it. Uh, this goes for women, predominantly women, men also. I would say maybe, yeah, men and women, because uh, everybody has this uh, mindset of uh, Mr. Right is out there, or my perfect my perfect woman is out there, and when I find my love, it's gonna be something out of out of a fucking movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people want people watch these romantic movies, these romantic comedies. Uh, women read these read these romance novels and think that Prince Charming is out there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's not reality. You know, there's no happy end. There's no perfect happy ending in real life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of people are brainwashed by that because when they watch like Hollywood movies, uh, Hollywood movies or Disney movies, they'll, at the end of the damn movie, you know what I'm saying, they walk off to the sunset. But after the credits, you know what I'm saying, they still got to deal with the reality. So they got still got to move in, live with each other. Uh, or they gonna argue about money and shit, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's just like, you know, people gotta get out of that Hollywood Disney mindset. Just deal with how reality really is, you know. Uh, point number ten. Um, uh, the majority of life is boring. It's impossible to try to be cool and swag while cooking breakfast, brushing your teeth, or taking a shit. Uh, I wrote this because um, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people. Um, you know, they uh they try to imitate what they see on me on music videos. They try to be cool and hip. You know, they're insecure people, so they try to live their Hollywood. They try to live their Hollywood lifestyle, even though they broke <laughs> and stuff like that. So they try to uh, impress other people. It's like their whole life is trying to impress other people all the damn time. And I'm like. Majority of life, you can't really do that with the majority of life because you can't do that on the job. You can't do that uh, while you're um, pumping gas, uh, brushing your teeth, whatever. You know, life. Majority of life, majority of life, you're you're trying to uh, you're trying to survive. You know, you're working, you're paying bills, uh, you're grocery shopping, uh, you're trying to budget your money, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, vacuum, take a bath. You know, you know, irony clothes. So, you know, that it just you know, life is mundane. That's pretty much what it means. That you know, it's, and uh, that's you know, that's pretty much what it means. Because you know, you you can't just try to be Hollywood all the damn time. That's just too too exhausting. You know, uh, point number eleven. The, uh, the survival of the fittest applies to humans as well, not just the animal kingdom. And uh, what that means is that, um, you know, stay stay healthy, uh, take care of your health, exercise. Uh, you know, anything can happen. Uh, learn survival skills because, you know, like I said earlier about natural disasters like hurricanes, volcanoes, whatever, earthquakes, whatever. Anything can go down in life. 
So if you don't, if you're not physically fit, if you can't run, if you don't have like basic know-how, you don't, you don't, you don't know how to um, do basic survival stuff. You know how to survive when the power goes out, whatever the case may be. Uh, you screwed. So it's always good to uh, you know, when everything shuts down, just uh, have basic Boy Scout skills. You know, if you're in the military, use what you learn and things like that. You know, go out and uh, learn how to shoot a weapon, go hunting, get that experience. Because even though we live like in a high tech, technological society, you know, say with uh, comforts, with AC, uh, microwaves, all this kind of stuff. Anything can happen. We can lose everything. So it's always good to have like basic survival skills. So and keep yourself healthy, exercise, stay thin, uh, be as agile as you can, stretch, um, maintain your health because there might be a situation where you might have to run or jump over stuff. You know, anything can happen. So that's pretty much what it means. Um, people judge your worth by how much you can contribute to society. Uh, which is uh, self-explanatory, you know, saying you got to contribute, you have to contribute something, you know, if you have something worth of value, people will work with you and uh, negotiate with you, sign contracts with you, hire you, um, you know, if you look, you know, look for a job, if you, got, if you look for a job, you got a skill, the employer will, will uh, hire, you, hire, you, hire you and pay you. For your expertise, so that's pretty much uh, what it means. And if you're a person look for handouts, uh, you're gonna stay poor. Um, paying bills comes before blowing your money on trying to be hip and cool. Um, it's all about like sometimes you have to be a minimalist. Um, you know, you're trying to impress people who don't like you. Uh, they can be a drain on your finances. Um, you know, at a certain age, you should know that it's all about survival. So, you know, you know, buy what you need, you know, pay your bills, buy food, save your money, invest your money for the long run. Because if you try to uh, use the money to be flashy and try to be cool and hip and press the ladies all the time or vice versa, if you're female, try to, uh, you know, try to catch a guy and you spend your money on weave and extensions and all this kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> for whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? That's a journey on your finance. So uh, just be practical. Be a practical adult. Uh, take care of responsibilities first. And, uh, you know, save your money, invest your money. It's all about the long run. Because, uh, like I said earlier, uh, you're not going to be uh, a young person forever. Uh, point number 14 uh, most good genuine people don't fall into any social category, which uh, which means that it, it's kind of like myself. I'm not bougie. I'm not gangster. I'm kind of like in between. And, and one thing about society is kind of like there's so much compartmentalization, uh, it, it's, especially in the black community. It's, it's kind of like you either got to be like fucking bougie one one end of one end of the spectrum and at the other end of the spectrum you gotta be like thuggish ratchet and i'm like where are like the decent grounded people in the in between who work a decent job you know what i'm saying they're not bougie they're not thuggish they're just decent people working every day um you know decent people clean cut people you know they work a decent job good decent good decent job come home um you know you know, so don't bother anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it is like there's no in between of of uh, grounded, decent, down to earth people anymore. It's like you're gonna be either or, and I, you know, and it's it's kind of hard to find like good people who are just like grounded nowadays because it's it's kind of like nowadays it's like you either gotta be you either gotta be extreme for some weird reason. I don't know why. Uh, number fifteen. Uh, just being a good person is not enough. Uh, the, reason, the reason why I put this down because you got a lot of people. They think that they try. They think that being good, they're automatically gonna get a blessing, and that's not the case. Uh, you can be. I'm not saying. You know, I'm, I'm not saying to be an asshole. But my thing is like, you can be a good person. I mean, let me let me backtrack. 
I know like uh, a lot of good people, they're good, decent people, but they're overweight, they're obese, they broke, you know what I'm saying? It, and there's a mentality that the reason why people are like that because they have a mentality in their brain that if I'm a good person, that's that's it. I ain't got to work in them. I don't have to work trying to prove myself anymore. I don't have to lose weight. I don't have to exercise. I don't have to make more money or what have you because I have a good heart, which is the highest thing. They think like having a good heart is the highest thing to accomplish. So anything that deals with self improvement, they reject it because they think they made it, and it's kind of like a self righteousness. Like a, it, it's very self. It's kind of like I won't say arrogant, but it's kind of like this uh, mentality 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 that they have. So. They don't try to prove themselves. They just think uh, they call it like, they call it like the poor righteous teacher mentality. So they think that being a good person that the like God or universe God automatically bless them or something. But they don't try to prove anything else in their life. You know, that's uh, pretty much what it means. Uh, number sixteen: uh, Stay away from people who say money doesn't matter. Uh, money. I mean, you can't get anything in life without money. You know, money buys convenience, pretty much. So, money does matter. You know, you know, money's a tool. Work hard. Just you know, just basic common sense. Work hard. Try to move up in life. Uh, when you get money, use it wisely to improve yourself. Uh, you know, whatever. You know, that's pretty much what it means. There are people who will say that money doesn't matter. Uh, nine times out of ten, they broke. Uh, number 17, uh, there's no such thing as a good Christian man or woman. Uh, good stands on its own. It doesn't need another word attached to it to define itself to make it seem better or more valid. Uh, which means that you have like a lot of uh, people um, who are not upright people, but they call themselves Christian to fool other people to think that they are righteous. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, when people say, like, when people hear the word Christian, it's kind of like they drop their defenses, and you know what I'm saying, automatically. But, uh, you know, no religion has a monopoly on morality. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, uh, pagan, atheist, I don't care what you are. Uh, a, a religion does not enhance your. What, what I'm trying to say, it, it's a, it's kind of like don't hide behind a religion. If you're if you're a good person with a good heart, just be that. You know, what I'm saying don't uh, put you know don't put on your sleeve like oh, I'm a good Christian. I'm I'm this and that. You know, what I'm saying you can't say nothing to me because I'm, I'm I say I'm this. So automatically you should. Uh, see me as a good person just because I say I'm, I'm this and that. Uh, it doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Good standards, good stance on its own by, you know, watch a person's actions, watch the behavior, um, what a person does, outweighs uh, what they say, pretty much. Uh, never be in denial of reality, which is number 18, uh, number 19, uh, sometimes, no matter how hard you try, or you can do all the right things, or do everything right, things can still go wrong. It kind of like goes back to what I said earlier. You know, life is not fair. <laughs> you know, you do everything right, things can still go wrong. Uh, point number twenty: uh, You will die one day. And you, you will die one day, and you won't be remembered two hundred years from now. You don't even know the name of your great great grandparents, <laughs> which is true. Uh, you may be alive now, but do you think somebody gonna remember your ass two hundred years from now, three hundred years from now? I mean, you got you got mother like the average. I'm not talking about like you know. Look at history. If you look at ancient history, uh, you just know the names of the uh, people who did shit. You know, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Napoleon, <laughs> um, shoot, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, Columbus, uh, the Wright brothers, uh, 
you know, you, you just know the names Isaac Newton. You know and I'm saying? You just know the names of the people who did shit. We, the average peasant who lived in 1517, nobody knows that person existed because they were a fucking peasant. You know what I'm saying? They contribute nothing to society. They just live their life. You know what I'm saying? Like average uh, peasant. You know, somebody lived in ancient Egypt who was, who might have been, might have been like a, worked out in the field or whatever. You know, worked out in the field in ancient times. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows the person lived old, got old and died. Nobody knows that person existed. That was like fucking 5,000 years ago. Nobody cares about that person. <laughs> so if that's the case, then you as an individual, you as a person reading this or watching this video, two thousand years from now, you're gonna be dust. <laughs> Nobody kind of care about your head. Yeah, you, you just you gotta just look at it that way. You, you think you're special, you're not special. <laughs> but I'll just play it simple, man. Uh, point twenty one. Uh, you're not special. The 7 billion people on planet Earth won't stop and cry when they die. Kind of goes back to point number 20. Um, you know, you're just one out of billions of people on planet Earth. You know, um, you know, if you, you know, I'm going to pass away. If I pass away, it's not going to affect anything. You know, the stock market's not, the stock market is not, no, it's not, the stock market is not going to crash if I die. Or if you pass away, or, or you know what I'm saying, uh, nobody gonna stop him more for you. If you're not the president, if you're not a president of the United States, if you're not a, if you're not a Hollywood celebrity, uh, nobody cares about your ass. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty much, you just one out of one out of seven billion people on the planet Earth. I'm not special, so this is just reality, guys. Uh, point twenty two. Learn as much as you can. Uh, read books. Uh, watch YouTube videos, um, Google stuff. Um, everybody should have uh, a library in their house. Everybody should have, uh, of course, you know, the internet's a good tool, but it's always good to have, like, uh, you know, in your house, have some dictionaries, um, encyclopedias. Um, you know, just have some books. You know, it could, it could be just like a basic uh, history book. You know, school book, or, you know, just have some books in the house, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, get in a habit of every once in a while, read a book. Um, even we'll come down to the internet, uh, watch something educational, even even with TV. I always say that uh, you don't have to be like, you don't have to be a scholar, but you know, every once in a while, you know, when you, when you watch TV, uh, watch, uh, dis watch the Discovery Channel, watch. Uh, Animal Kingdom or something, you know. Watch um, Cosmos with uh, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, you know, just educate yourself, learn something. You know, enrich yourself. You don't have. I'm not saying you're supposed. To, I'm not saying don't be. I mean, you don't have to be like an Oxford scholar, but you know, learn a little something. Something. You know, watch something educational every once in a while. Watch A and E. Watch the History Channel. Uh, even if, if it's something corny like Ancient Edians, <laughs> you know, just. No, no, little some some about how how the world how the planet how the world works how society works you know. Uh, point twenty three. Uh, do what makes you happy, even at the cost of just being your friends or even your mother, as long as it's legal and doesn't physically hurt anyone. Uh, you know that that's self explanatory. Uh, live your life, be happy. You know, saying no matter what people say. Uh, point 24, nothing just falls into your lap just because you are a good person. You literally have to work for the good things in life. Uh, point 25, responsible, hardworking people deserve the best life and have the right to indulge. And it kind of goes back. I got this out of, out of uh, Levain Satanism. Anton LaVey said it uh, in the Satanic Bible. And, uh, and uh, he was saying something like... Uh, to the effect that uh, people who work hard, you know, people who are responsible, they should be the ones. They should be the ones who have the, who have the right to indulge. Not lazy, not lazy people. Not not bums. Uh, people who work hard, pe adults, responsible, mature adults. They should. They have the right to indulge. But people who uh, don't do shit. Uh, they will have that right. So, I mean, I got that. You know, that's where I got it from. Uh, point 26. 
uh, stop being so impressionable, challenge the example that you are following. Uh, that goes back to uh, don't be so influenced by the media. You know, don't be so influenced by pop culture. You know, question what you're doing. You know, saying we'll come down to fads and trends, question it. Uh, point 27. Uh, if you see or follow a clique or a group of friends, challenge the leader of that clique. Um, you know, I don't like cliques personally. So, and um, if you follow, if you're part of a clique, you know, you know, question, you know, if you, if, you see, if, you, if you around some ignorant people, just question, like, hey, what were you doing this shit for? <laughs> you know, uh, point 28, uh, pursuit of pursuit of the opposite sex to that way hanging out with buddies of the same sex and i got i want the inspiration for 28 of uh, single women hanging out with each other with no men don't have dates and stuff like that and i'm like what's the point of going out you know when you go out it should be pursuit of sex so why the hell you know what i'm saying you got these women in groups going to, going to the club and stuff like that, you know, guys too, you know what I'm saying, but I'm just like, you know, you know, pursuit of sex is not a bad thing, you know, pursuit of opposite sex is not a bad thing, you know what I'm saying, so that's pretty much uh, where I got that from, uh, point 29, uh, move up the social ladder, move up the move up the social ladder, and create chaos and change for the better once you reach the top, lead and dominate the bourgeoisie with the intuition the street smarts you've learned during your fight to the top uh you see this in hip-hop um you know we have like black men in hip-hop uh they started out um selling selling their mixtape on the street corner they probably did um things illegal to make ends meet whatever and then once they get that record deal um they use that street smarts to uh, build the empire. So that's why I see uh, a, lot, a lot of black men in hip hop who are like big entrepreneurs and billionaires because they, they took that, what they, they, they took that cunning, that street smarts, that intuition they learned from the street and applied it to the corporate world. And that's how, and that's how they became successful. You know, like 50 Cent, Jay Z. Uh, you know, people like that. So that's uh, pretty much what 29 means. So once you reach to the top, um, change it. Change it for the better. You know what I'm saying? Change it so that, you know, so that it, it can benefit the overall society in general. Uh, and the last the last one, number 30, uh, be unique and different. Social conformity is a sin. Uh, I know that was long and drawn out, but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to share this because uh, I just put on record that I wrote this because I wrote this like three years ago. So I don't know if anybody read it. So I, I see the circulating. If somebody like visited my WordPress and um, plagiarized it, put it on their page or whatever, just, just so you know, I'm the motherfucker who wrote this first. So... <laughs> and uh let me stop rambling and what i do i just put this link below uh you can like read it you can print it out um share it or what have you but just know that this is the origin of it you know and uh just a guidelines on how to be a mature adult and confident guidelines on how to be a mature and confident adult uh, that's, uh, and I just use the symbol, this symbol right here, it's just something random. I just, I just, I thought that was like a cool symbol though. Kind of like the, what they call it, Ouroboros, but it's kind of like an Aztec kind of thing. You know, the serpent eating his tail because I'm into the occult and stuff like that. So symbolism, stuff like that. So I just thought it was cool. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, that's all I had to say. That's all I had to say, man. I just wanted to share that right quick. Uh, if you want to comment, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any input, just let me know. Uh, share your opinion, and that's all I gotta say, guys. All right, peace out.